Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Soy from the Class Sassy Life. I hope that you guys have had a great start to your new year. Before I get into the video, I want to say hey to one of my new subscribers that I met at Michael's this past weekend. Hey, Michaela, girl, how are you doing? I hope you are enjoying your new planner. I am getting ready to tell you all about my 2019 planner lineup. Okay guys, so yes, I have four planners here. I want to take a few minutes to just talk about how I decided on the planners of my choice. Now, technically, I am starting the year off with three new planners. So you guys know about this one. It is a love of mine. That is my teacher planner. I love this planner, guys. It is one of my absolute favorite planners. Um to date as far as teacher planners are concerned um and so i'm gonna take a few moments to quickly talk about this planner so as you guys know i have been mia and so i have been lesson planning but not in my planner so i have lots of pages here that i actually just i did not use as you can see it's blank um i was i kept it 100 with you guys i let you know from the beginning that i had not been planning in my planner but I'm going to be repurposing these pages um, in my planner. Um, and we're going to talk all about how I'm going to how I'm going to do that by resetting up my planner um, on Sunday. So let me take a moment to just say that on Sundays I will be doing school Sundays where I either where I will lesson plan for my teacher planner. Once every six weeks, I will set up a plan for my classes. I don't see a need to plan every week when I get all of my um, items that are due in a calendar at the beginning of the semester. Um, I will be franken planning in this planner and I will set it up for you guys on camera this Sunday. So make sure that you guys tune in for that. So now that I've talked about this first planner in my 2019 planner lineup, it is a continuation of 2018 um, with new fresh eyes. Let's get into my new planners, all of which have not even been cracked open yet. So the first planner I want to talk about is my mini. You guys know I have a love for a mini planner. I'm all about a mini planner. And this one is the one that I chose. And this, I believe it's called... I love this planner guys I absolutely love it and I picked it up from Hobby Lobby so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off of here for you so you guys can join me in opening this planner up and this is the only one I'm gonna open up on camera um, because I'm going to do a video on all of my planners of course hi Stephanie and her family this planner is a favorite of mine for one simple reason. Yeah, I have my elbows on the table and my hands holding my face, but you guys can't see it. I love this planner simply because it is a vertical mini. Vertical mini. Um, there's some things about it that I don't like, but I will go into that specific in my mini um, planner setup, which will also be loaded this week. This planner is going to have a few things in it. So it's going to have all of our appointments, um, my trash days, uh, grocery pickups, because I have been doing those and I absolutely love them. More details when I do a recipe planning video. Um, Whenever my husband has to pick up my son from daycare because I have a meeting that extends past his um, daycare time, I will also put in my payday schedule as well as my video uploads for that week. Weekly, I will have my errands, um, my videos, uh, money that I spend. I really, I, I can't remember whose video it was that I was watching. She strictly uses her... Um, mini as an expense tracker she just writes down all of the things that she spends you know who i'm talking about please leave her name below i want to put a link to her video um 
in my description box but she talked about how she used her mini as an expense tracker and I thought that that was a great idea I didn't want to only use it as an expense tracker but that's definitely something that I'm going to do because I find myself spending money on things that are unnecessary and by writing them down and knowing that I have to write it down I think that that would curve my spending a little bit yes this is like my I can't even place them put them in order I know that this planner over here is my number one favorite but these two run a close second so this is the deluxe version yes the gold rings this is the deluxe version of the healthy hero I love this planner I love the new setup that it has a today a focus um, a food log as well as an exercise section so we're going to be setting up I'm going to be setting up this planner with you guys this week as well so i'm going to do a complete flip through and, and a setup video on it so i'm not going to open it on camera but i do want to tell you what i'm going to use it for my today's section will basically be like quotes and um anything that i want to remind myself of possibly um a scripture of the day i'm not sure if i want to put that in here or save that strictly for my um faith planning my faith journaling but i think that this will be a great place to put that as well um because scriptures are very uplifting but if not a scripture a quote or just something i need to write for myself um for my monthly i will be tracking um how i'm feeling and any like if i'm ill or sick or anything like that i'm going to be documenting that as well um in the food log section i'm going to talk about my breakfast and my lunch um, in addition to that, I will have total calories eaten um, and my exercise, I will put my workout for the day and how many calories I burned. And then I'm going to also rate my workout and whether I feel like it was effective or if I was um, not as effective as I should have been and um, maybe make a notation for the next day on what I can do to be better. All right, guys. And so my last planner, and she is definitely, definitely not least, is the Super Mom Planner. I love this planner simply because of that dashboard layout. It is everything. Okay. Yes, I love my Super Mom Planner. Um, so my Super Mom Planner, I'm gonna use the monthly to track. I will be. I want to eventually get to the point where I am monthly meal planning um for my family so i'm starting off with a two week span of meals that i'm going to be doing for my family and so that is what i'm going to be documenting in my on the monthly section i will also have my budget for each month standard stickers that will be placed on the dates that my bills are due in addition to that i will also be putting in our appointments now i know i said i'm putting it in my mini as well my mini is my catch-all but it also is my on-the-go planner so i will have it in here and i will transfer it to there or vice versa that way when i'll see it every day and i won't miss any appointments and that's appointments for my husband for my son and for myself um the things that i'll be doing in my weekly uh, will be errands that i have to run meals that I am going to be preparing for that week um, bills that are that I have to pay that week I will have those laid out on the weekly as well and then my cleaning zones I want to start cleaning my house in zones if you guys do not know about cleaning your house in zones you need to go watch do it on the dime hey girl how you doing so guys that is my 2019 planner lineup the healthy hero the super mom planner i want to say i can't remember the name of this planner but i will put the title across um the screen here and then my teacher slash student planner that will be franken planned so guys if you have not entered my giveaway it ends on january the 4th so please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you leave a comment on my previous video of my planner haul my first planner haul for 2019 so go check that out watch the video and follow the instructions for what you have to do there and and get your extra entry in on my instagram page um so thanks so much for watching keep god first in everything you do and remember to plan a classy and sassy life guys bye